massive brown dwarf has been detected by astronomers. This is by Thomas Nawazowski on uh, phys.org. And a uh, brown dwarf star we know is massive, of course, compared to Earth, even compared to Jupiter. An international team of astronomers has found a new brown dwarf, one of the most massive objects of this type discovered to date. The newly detected brown dwarf, designated EPIC 2120368.75b, turns out to be about 50 times more massive than Jupiter. 50 times! Well, they found another one that's over 700 times as big as Jupiter, but we're talking about this one now. The finding is detailed in paper published June 13, a few days ago, on rxiv.org. Brown dwarfs are intermediate objects between planets and stars. Astronomers generally agree that they are substellar objects carrying the mass range between 13 and 80 Jupiter masses. Notably, out of the 2,000 brown dwarfs so far detected, only about 400 of them were found to be circling around stars. Observations have shown that brown dwarfs with masses between 35 and 55 Jupiter masses orbiting their host at a relatively close distance, that is less than 3.0 AU, are extremely rare and difficult to find. This so-called brown dwarf desert is constantly studied by astronomers using various techniques, aiming to find other examples of this peculiar type. Now an international group of researchers led by Karina M. Persson of Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden reports the finding of a new massive brown dwarf, apparently another representative of this desert. The new object, designated EPIC 2120368.75b, was identified by NASA's prolonged Kepler mission known as K2, and Persson's team confirmed its brown dwarf nature using ground-based telescopes. Quote, in this paper, we report the independent discovery and observations of EPIC 2120368.75b performed by the Kesprint Consortium. The paper reads, as the detection of this object was almost simultaneously reported by other group of astronomers. According to the study, EPIC is about 51 times as massive as Jupiter, but approximately 17% smaller than our solar system's gas giant. These values imply the brown dwarf's mean density at a level of around 108 grams per cubic centimeter. Observations conducted by Pearson's team found that EPIC orbits its, its host approximately every 5.17 days at a distance of about 0.06 AU from it. These results confirm that the newfound object represents the brown dwarf desert and such a close orbit also means that the brown dwarf should be relatively hot. Its equilibrium temperature is estimated to be about 1450 degrees uh, Kelvin, which is like Celsius. Now the study reveals that the host, EPIC 2120368.75, uh, the brown dwarf was B, the, the host is uh, without the B, is a slightly evolved star of a special type F7V, about 41% larger and 15% more massive than the Sun. Its age was estimated to be around 5.1 billion years, and its effective temperature was measured to be 6,230 degrees Kelvin. In concluding remarks, the researchers ponder the possible formation and evolution scenarios for EPIC 2120368.75b, the brown dwarf star that is, they assume that this brown dwarf most likely formed due to gravitational instabilities in a protoplanetary disk. We argue that EPIC 2120368.75b formed via gravitational disk instabilities in the outer part of the disk, followed by a quick migration Orbital tidal circulation may have started early in its history for a brief period when the brown dwarf radius was larger, the astronomers conclude. 
Now another brown dwarf in the system study investigates properties of HT206893. This is again on phys.org by Thomas Nowakowski again. Aiming to constrain the orbit and dynamical mass of a brown dwarf in the HD206893 system, an international team of astronomers investigated the whole star and its companion using a combination of observing techniques. Results of the observation campaign suggest the presence of another massive object in the system, most likely a brown dwarf. The findings are detailed in the paper published June 7th on arxiv.org. Brown dwarfs are intermediate objects between planets and stars, as we said. Astronomers generally agree that the substellar object occupying the mass range between 13 and 80 Jupiter masses, although many brown dwarfs have been detected to date, such objects existing as companions to other stars uh, are a rare find. Now one of these rare brown dwarfs companies companions is HT206893 B that was discovered about two years ago and it orbits HT206893 a nearby younger star of special spectral type F5V locating some 133 light years away. The host, estimated to be around 250 million years old, has a mass of about 1.32 solar masses and an effective temperature of approximately 6,500 degrees Celsius. Given that brown dwarf companions are usually located at a relatively large distance from parent stars, their dynamical masses are extremely difficult to measure. This is the case with HD 206893b, b signifying that it's uh, its uh, companion. As previous studies have found that it is separated from its host by about 11 AU, while leaving huge in uncertainties regarding mass extinctions based on evolutionary models uh, regarding mass estimates, sorry, based on evolutionary models and photometric data it was estimated that this mass must lie somewhere between 12 and 50 Jupiter masses. In order to constrain the mass of HD 206893b more precisely and to gain more insight about its orbit, a group of astronomers led by Antoine Grandjeu of Université Grenoble Alps in France investigated the system using radial vect velocity RV data direct imaging and astrometry. High contrast imaging enables the determination of orbital patterns from substellar companion patterns, planets, brown dwarfs, from the observed relative astronomy and the estimation of the model age uh, and model and age dependent masses from their observed magnitudes or spectra. Combining astrom astrometric position with radial velocity gives direct constraints on the orbit and on the dynamical masses of companions, the author of the paper stated. According to the study, results of the observation show a significant radial velocity drift over a period of about 1.6 years, assuming that HD 206893b is a source of this drift it should have a dynamic mass between 60 and 720 Jupiter masses. This is inconsistent with previous but, uh, observations, so the astronomers excluded this uh, possibility. Searching for other explanations of this phenomena, the researchers noted it could be caused by some other object yet understood, undetected, and it's uh, closer to the host than HD 206893b. An addition, additional inner body that could contribute significantly to the observed RV drift and the um, uh, tangential velocity in RA is needed. Its orbital period should be longer than our time baseline of 1.6 years at 1.4 AU, the paper reads. 
The researchers added that in order to trigger such RV drift, the potential companion should have a mass of about 15 Jupiter masses, or brown dwarf, and should be located at a distance between 1.4 and 2.6 AU from their, grand, uh, from their uh, par partner star. Now, the researchers estimate HD 206893 b has an orbital period between 21 and 33 years and orbital inclination in the range from 21 to 40 degrees. Moreover, they noted that its dynamical mass could be even as low as 10 Jupiter masses if the system's age is lower than 50 million years, which cannot be excluded. Hence, more radi uh, radial velocity observed and direct imaging of the system are needed to confirm the presence of the inner object and to further constrain the parameters of both companions. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.